in this video, I want to show you how to set up calendar classes in Sector. When we look at the traditional version of the timetable here, it looks like this, it's divided into period times, into period blocks, and often these sections here do not reflect what we're actually doing at that time. So the purpose of this in video is really to show you how to set up what I call calendar classes, which is classes that you can create at certain times in the timetable to reflect what you are actually doing. So when we swap across to calendar classes, you can see that it's done by time rather than by period lots here. So um, that is the way of looking at this timetable here. Now you can see all of the options are selected, so I can see all my timetable classes. If I click on that and unselect that, you can see I've got nothing there. So that's the first step there, is to unselect the calendar, the uh, timetable classes, I should say, so that you have this blank canvas. Now we're going to start constructing our timetable classes. If you look at a finished product here, you can see that we've got uh, chapel services in there, we've got the recesses going, lunchtime going through at those times here, and you can see that the times when the students are out doing different things, and these are times when actual English is going on at this time. I haven't attached any of the marks books to these, and I haven't uh, done assessment for any of these as well, apart from the science class and this digital technologies one. But you can see that I have got a program attached to it, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. And then also to add the students into the classes. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a calendar class now. I'm just going to start uh, any stage here in the morning. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you drag this out incorrectly. Um, we're going to create a class here, not an appointment, but we're going to create a class. Now, if you've done one previously, it'll be in the list here. Uh, but I'm going to create a new class. So I'll start on the left here. Rather than selecting a student uh, or a group from here, we're going to select it from the group menu here. So here I want 3A, so if you just type in your class, uh, whatever it is, 1A, 2A, 3A, PP, 1A, B, etc., you'll get your students there. You can see there's 27 students in that class. Uh, 9 to 9.45, you might want to say, I oh, don't know, I didn't mean 9, I meant 8. 50 and I want to go that that to go to 945 so you can easily change the times there change the date we all want to start on this date here the 9th of October which is the first day of term 4 subject now the subject is the, the code for that class that we're doing now so let's say this is an English class that we're creating uh, you'll need the code from your English class so I know that the code for the year 3 English class that I'm doing here is 3A English 3A. There it is there. So if you're not sure of that, just have a look at what the code is on your existing class. Class number, you can put anything you'd like in there. I just call it class number one to identify it. If you had two classes, you can put one for one and two for another. We're going to deselect allow attendance. We don't need to take attendance for this particular class during the day. That'll be taken care of by the AM and PM role. You can select the room number if it is uh, there. Uh, if you can find it there, you can select the room number or you can just leave it blank as well. Um, so I'll just get rid of that. And then the timetable period, which is 2017 semester 2 junior school. And this is me, I'm the teacher doing this, so this is going to appear in my timetable. You can uh, put in somebody else if you're doing this on behalf of somebody else. Okay. So then we click on save and you can see my calendar class has now been created for that time. At any stage you can actually grab that class and move it around as well if you want to. So if you've got the time wrong, it's easy to grab that class and move it around. Okay, so I've done a few classes now, I've just got three classes here. Uh, I want to show you something else that you might want to put in and that is uh, lunchtime. So in this case here I'm going to make this an appointment rather than a class because there's not going to be any students in this. So I'm going to call this lunch. It's going to go from 1 to 1.35 so obviously I can change the time there. Just leave this as an appointment. Uh, you're the organiser, so you're the person in there. You don't need to select any staff, students or guardians in there. You can change the colour over here which is handy. So you might want to give this a nice uh, pink colour there and click on save and there you've got your lunch break. You can do that from recess as well. So I'm building out my day on Monday on purpose, putting all of the classes in as it looks on Monday on purpose because now I'm going to do some cloning, which is I'm going to take these classes and clone them throughout that week. So we see them from Monday through to Friday and then I can adjust them from there. Here's how you do that. At the top of the screen, we'll click on clone. 
what I'm going to do is choose just the day that I'm looking at. So I'm just going to choose from the 9th of October to the 9th of October. So I've only got that day selected. And I'm going to clone it to the 10th through to the 13th. So I'm going to clone what we have on Monday through to the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday of the same week. And you can see over here on the right, I get to choose which things I want to clone over to those days. So both classes and events or appointments down here. So you need to select all of those. So after I've created all the classes on Monday, as I have them, go through this cloning process, it's much quicker. There's some advanced options at the, at the bottom, which allows you to not double up if classes are already there and not put two in at the same time etc but you should be fine for now to do that if I click on save we then see that all of those classes are recreated uh, for the rest of the days of the week now if you do maths at a different time on Tuesday it's really simple to move it okay so we can just move any of these around in time sometimes it's a bit hard to grab it here we go I can say yeah I'm going to do English there and I'm going to move maths up there so you can move all of these classes around so it looks exactly when it appears on the uh, actual time when you're doing your teaching. Putting the colors on here is important because then I can see that these five classes are all the same thing and that's important at this stage so that's really good. So next I'm going to clone this week into the next week. If I run a two-week schedule where one week uh, the students do this in the afternoon on Wednesday afternoon and then the next week they do something different so what I'm going to do first is clone this whole week across to the next week. So again, I select clone. When you clone a whole week, you must start from the Sunday and go through to the Saturday. So you get that whole cycle there so that sector will put in the weekends basically. If we just clone those five days into the next five days, it'll start on the Saturday. So we don't want to do that. So we choose the Sunday through to the Sunday of the week we want to clone. And in this case here, by default, it's going into the very next week. So it's actually already set up by default. But everything in this week get cloned into this week here. Again, I choose the classes that I want to bring across and the appointments and click on save. And now if I go forward to the next week, you'll see that it looks exactly the same as the previous week. Now I can now change that class to say we're going to do that one up there this week. So now that's week two. This is week one, week two, and week one. So now we've got our week one and two looking exactly as we want to. We can now clone those weeks throughout the semester. So again, clone. In this case here, we want to clone the whole two weeks. So we're going to go from the eighth, let's look at this, from the eighth through to the 21st. There we go. So everything in those two weeks, we're going to clone into, and we're going to start at the 22nd for this week here. So it's going to start at the 22nd, and we're going to go through to the end of the semester. So I'm just going to jump it forward to December and say, let's just go for the 16th. There we go. So it's going to close these two weeks into these ones here, the rest of the semester that I've got. And again, I just choose all of my classes and my appointments and click on save. It says my classes have been successfully cloned. So here I go now, I look at uh, week one, week two, week one, week two, week one, week two, etc. That is cloning taken care of. Last step in the process is attaching the appropriate program to each of these classes here. So um, what I would do there is go to my traditional timetable. So uh, let's get to the right one here. Go to my traditional timetable, find the class that it is that, with the program that I want to attach to my new class. So um, again, it's actually good to know what the name of that class is. So. So let me go back and I'll just make sure I've got the code correct. So for this one here, it's called 3AING 3A number hash one. Okay, so that's the code that I'm looking out for. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the traditional view of the timetable. 
look for my English class, which is like a needle in a haystack there. So I'm going to go to my classes. There it is here. So here's the program here. So what I want to do is share this program, this year three English program with my newly created calendar class. So um, I click on the collaboration settings. I want to find that calendar class. So it is 3A-E-N-G. 3A hash one, there it is right there. So that's the one that I created just recently, just there. Okay, that's my name and that's the one right there. And the ones that are in italics are ones that already have a program attached to them. So this is one that doesn't have a program. And I wanna select share, not copy, but share. So go yes and okay. If I now go back to my timetable, my calendar timetable and to 9th of October, you'll now see that you've got a percentage symbol against all of these classes, meaning that a program has been attached to that class. So if I select the middle of that class there, you can see I've now got a marks book. So if I click that, the marks book will open up and you see I've got all of the scores and all of the information that I will carry forward from your previous term that you will have done. That's my